Master 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 back in love with you. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, as you can see, three stacks is coming out of that shell more and more. Let's go. Let's see what the rest of the awesome family is. Oh, look at the window banded Dominic. The Dominator. Oh, you in the window. What you doing? Reina. Hi. <laughs> Uh, we're excited about today's video. We're going to get into part two of our communication video. We did part one last week. Let's get into part two. And we're about to have some fun. How was your week, monsters? Did you guys do anything exciting? Oh, you know what? My apologies. Happy 4th of July. You see the shirts. We're ready. She got a matching shirt. She's just... I'm little. Little. <laughs> We hope you guys have a fun and safe holiday. So now, how was your week, monsters? Did you guys do anything exciting? Did you guys do anything fun? Let us know in the comments down below this video. If this is your first time on our channel, just know you are one click of the subscribe button away from joining the family, joining the monsters. Might as well come on in. We want you here. We would love to have you be a part of the family. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to give you guys five awkward seconds to go ahead and click that subscribe button, click that notification bell so you're notified every single time we upload new content so you guys don't miss anything. And we're going to start those five seconds right about now. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like no matter how many times we do that, it's very awkward to stand there in silence. So hopefully you guys took advantage of that opportunity to click that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and while you're at it, you can also like this video. Sorry. As you can hear, it's uh, Godzilla vs. Kong in the living room. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the opportunity and taking the time to watch this video or any video that you watch on our channel. We absolutely appreciate you. For our faithful monsters, even if you just joined the channel today, we have a favor to ask. We want to ask you to invite, if you believe, let me, let me start over. If you believe what we're doing in this channel, we, which is depositing a little bit more faith, hope, and love into the world, we want you to go ahead and invite one person to the channel. If you already have invited one person to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and invite one more. We absolutely appreciate you. What we want to do is we want to build a community. We also, but more importantly, want to build a family, the family of the monsters. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much in advance. If you're going to help us with that, go ahead and comment down below if you're going to help us. We also know that we cannot build this channel without God and we cannot build it without you so we need your help to do so. You can also help us by liking, commenting, sharing, obviously subscribing yep. and always interact with us. We love when you guys interact with us. We would love to hear from you guys in the comments. So what we're going to do now is we are going to announce our June challenge winner. Now our June challenge was who can leave the most inspirational comments on our videos for the month of June Second one was, you know, who can encourage somebody the most on our, you know, on our videos in the comments. So we have one unanimous, say the right this time, right? Unanimous, yep. We have one unanimous winner and that is Miss Diane. Thank you so much, Miss Diane, for being an inspiration. Thank you for being an encouragement. What we're gonna do for you is we have an Amazon gift card that we will email to you directly that's probably the easiest way to do it so miss mm -hmm. diane you have my number go ahead and text me your email address and we will make sure you get that amazon gift card thank you so much for being a faithful subscriber on our channel we absolutely appreciate you miss diane and your awesome husband mr gary we thank you actually mr gary won our contest for what was it the month of may yeah thank you guys so much for being faithful subscribers and always coming back to watch our videos week in and week out we appreciate you. Now, DJ, 
You know what to do. Let's get it popping with that intro. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels like an ocean. As we get into the sequel to last week's video, we want to also say it in this video as well. We are not claiming to be experts. We are not claiming to know it all. We are not claiming to have all the wisdom and all the knowledge in the world. That's not our goal. Our goal is to simply offer advice and tips. And we just want to help because we do believe that God has given us wisdom in almost our, you know, almost 11 years of being married. We do believe that God has given us wisdom and we want to share that wisdom with others where we do believe that if you can apply that wisdom, it will greatly help you. So let's get into these scenarios. My stroller's on sale. And a cart. <laughs> It'll be here in a week. Yes. Um, what exactly are you over here doing? I may have purchased something. You may have purchased something or you did purchase something. May equals did. I did. But I don't recall you talking to me about purchasing something. Time out. All right. There could be many different ways to look at this. We, Jasmine and I, or I should say Raina and I, truly believe in, and we were taught this, so we can't take credit for it, but we truly believe in having a discussion about making major purchases before those purchases are made. Also, we include God in major purchases to make sure something that we actually need to be purchasing right now, or is there something that we can purchase later? We always look at it, is it a need or is it a want? Is it a need right now, or is it a need that can come later? We also, in a scenario like this, you know, I could have blown up because we didn't you know, talk about it and our thing is, that's already been established in our relationship, but that if, if that has not been established in your relationship, that's why communication is key because those rules, those guidelines, those everything needs to be established in a relationship. So I couldn't get mad at her if there was a scenario where her and I never had a conversation that we discussed major purchases before we purchased them. So never automatically assume that the other person automatically knows. So these are the conversations that you need to have with your spouse when you're going into marriage, during marriage, et cetera, et cetera. But of course, you know, I trust Jasmine. She trusts me. She wouldn't make something that, you know, a purchase that I wouldn't be comfortable with or if she hasn't talked to God about it already. So that's the other level is trusting your spouse, being able to, you know, effectively communicate for one, but being able to trust your spouse to know that your spouse will do the right thing. And also, if they did, or if, I mean, if they didn't, be willing to be, you know, forgiven, be willing to forgive them, I should say, and not, you know, hold grudges or be angry at them because they are not the enemy. You'll hear us say that a lot. What's up, beautiful? How are you? Hey, baby. 
Can we not right now? Oh, uh, okay, sure. I mean, I, I want to respect your wishes for sure. Thank you. I'm just really touched out right now. Time out. So in our in our situation, sometimes I might feel um, like I'm getting overwhelmed or like I'm starting to get touched out and my husband will take the kids, maybe he'll take them upstairs to play with all the other toys in the playroom and that'll just give me that time that I need to get whatever I need to get done and it allows me to kind of, I don't know, calm myself down, I don't know, but um, that helps a lot. And so if you communicate what you need with your spouse, they can actually relieve some of that um, tension or whatever. And also, when you're married, you really have to focus on your marriage. Um, don't allow your marriage to fall by the wayside because your parents, um, a lot of times, yes, you wanna put your kids first, but the real thing is your kids are your responsibility, but your marriage is your priority. And you have to keep that going because when your kids move out when they're older and they start their own lives, you really want to hope that your marriage is still intact and you still have your best friend with you. You still hang out and go on dates and all that stuff. You want to make sure you maintain that relationship. So physical intimacy is very important in that. So in this scenario, I know a lot of women can relate to this, or mothers, I should say. Um, sometimes you just are touched out. You have kids on you all day blah 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 your husband wants to, to caress you hug you whatever and sometimes you just don't want to you just don't want anyone else to touch you and that's completely understandable but at the same time physical intimacy is really important in, in your marriage and relationship but we have to understand that we have to communicate how we feel man Raina two weeks in a row. I like what she said though. She said, children are a responsibility, but our marriage is our priority. That resonates so much with me. And to piggyback off of what she was saying, it's true. Your children grow up, they start their own lives. They ain't gonna be thinking about you as much as they, as they was at one point in time. <laughs> and you don't wanna be looking across the way or looking on the side of your, you know, to the next of you and like, who is this stranger? I don't know this person because I didn't take the time to invest into my relationship and my marriage as I should have. So y'all go ahead and encourage Raina one more time in the comments. She did a great job. I'm absolutely proud of her. Hey babe, you wanna watch a movie? I apologize, babe. I gotta get this work done. I don't have any free time. Hey babe. You want to play the game? Um, I'm a little busy right now. Time out. <laughs> time out. All right. Free time. You have to make time. Time is the most valuable currency that there is. If 2020 has taught at least us and 2021 has at least taught us nothing more than this is to appreciate value love and cherish those people while the, those that are closest to you while they are here to receive it mm -hmm. you have to make time i know life can get busy i know deadlines need to be met i know schedules you know can get hectic but none of that stuff really matters if you do not have the time to spend it with the ones that you love. So you always, 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 especially as we saw in these past two years, you just never know. You always have to make time for those you love. Mm -hmm. That deadline can wait, or you could be a better steward over your time and manage it well so that you can have time to spend with your family. I cannot beat this enough and I cannot say this enough. You have to make time because you will hate to look up and live with regret and feel like I never had enough time. In reality, you did have enough time. You just didn't take advantage of it. That's why I'm so focused on spending so much time with my children while they're young. 
Because I know at some point, they love being around me right now, but at some point, they're going to be like, Dad, all right, Dad. I'm going with my friend. See ya. You know, and that's God willing. I'm believing God that I live a long life. And my wife, you know what I'm saying? We've seen so many spouses, young spouses, had their significant other pass away, and it is mm. heartbreaking. So I take every moment, within reason, I still, you know, do what I got to do to be, you know, a husband, to be, you know, man of the house, et cetera, et cetera. But I still make sure I do not neglect my family. I believe in God. I even prayed this prayer to God. God, please show me, you know, bless me to get to a level or show me how can I still pursue purpose and destiny and dreams, but still have time for them. I'm saying it and I know it might be a little redundant, but I'm beating this before reason because we've seen it. We've seen it recently, actually. Somebody else that we know, you know, their spouse passed away. Mm -hmm. Very sad and unfortunate. We're praying for the family. So we love you guys. Make the time. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it's there. Monsters, before we go, you know what time it is. It is that favorite, one of the most favorite times of the video. <laughs> I'm so excited, can't give my words out. All right, we are going to get into the subscribers of the week and we're going to do our birthday shout outs. First subscriber of the week is none other than Elizabeth Wright. Thank you so much, sis, for becoming a subscriber last week. We know your husband made us those awesome shirts that we wore, was it last week or the week before? Week before. We wore our Ninja Turtle shirts last week. Thank you so much, sis, for subscribing to the channel. We absolutely appreciate you. We love you and your husband. Thank you for being awesome and amazing. Second subscriber of the week is none other than my brother James. We have hooped together. We've been knowing each other for years. James, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much for watching our videos. I appreciated our conversation that we had last week. That really meant more than you know. It was happy to talk to you. I haven't talked to you in a while, bro. Love and appreciate you. All right, now let's get into these birthday shout outs. It's a lot of them, so you know I gotta look at this list. All right, first we wanna say, shout out, I mean, happy birthday to Smalls. My brother Smalls, AKA Musa. <clears throat> I call him Smalls, that's the nickname I got him. We got a connection from the Sandlot. I'm Benny the Jet Rodriguez, he's Smalls. Love you, bro. Appreciate you. Happy birthday to Auntie Kiva. Happy birthday to our sister Wanda Elliott. Happy birthday to Uncle Anthony Monk. Happy birthday to Jasia. Happy happy birthday to Uncle Pud. Happy birthday to Rob Marks, Antonio Berry, Jazz Sanchez, Chris Helton, Tiffany Radcliffe, Jocelyn Lightfoot, Ricky Brown, Nate, Ryan Christie, Jones Olinger. Shout out to our sister in Florida. We looking forward to seeing you and Oli and the family when we're able to come back to Florida. Happy birthday to Lynn Washington, Kenneth Morgan, Erie, uh, Peyton, AP also, uh, Rosemary, Miss Rosemary, Dwayne Williams, Nathan, oh, Chloe, I know. <laughs> it, 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 you should see how auto corrected your name and threw me off. Shout out to Chloe. Um, actually, Chloe is the mother of one of our goddaughters. Shout out to you. Happy birthday to Kimberly. Happy birthday to Miss Norma. Happy birthday to Myra Jackson, Joel Williams, Marva X Essex, Andrea, Ashley Stevens, Devon, Reggie, Cynthia Monk, Andre Adams, Mike Ryan, Michael McDaniel, LaShawn Horton, Kendra Brunson, Camila Graham, 
Ina McKinley, I think that's how you say it, Fallon Bell, Dorothy Elizabeth McAllister, Denise Battle, Latasha Franklin Beard, Michael E. Williams, LaCoya Kenny, Nakisha Johnson, Jeff, what up, bro? T Baby Hawkins, Summer Ellison, Melissa Smith, Emily Nadu. Say that right? Nadell. Nadell. All right, Jonathan Nettles. Happy birthday to all of you guys out there. If you celebrated your birthday from last Sunday to this Sunday, we want to tell you happy birthday. Even if we did not mention your name, happy birthday. Hey, and if you want to, you can got you guys can give a shout out to somebody. Tell them happy birthday in our comments. And invite them to subscribe to the channel. <laughs> we love you guys. We appreciate you guys. Also, the reason why. We are uploading this video on Saturday is because you know we never want to take away from you guys in your holidays. And we don't think that we're a priority in you guys' life to know that you're going to automatically watch our videos on holidays. So you know that July 4th is a holiday. It fell on a Sunday this year. That's when we usually upload our videos. But we're going ahead. We got you guys covered. You can watch it on Saturday and enjoy your fourth. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Let's see, where are we at now, babe? I think that's everything. Scroll up a little bit for me. Oh, yeah, don't forget to follow us on our Instagram pages. I am King Hoyu, K-I-N-G-H-O-Y-U, and she is... Miss Jazzy, M-R-S-J-A-Z-Z-Y-Y. Z-Z-Y-Y. -Y. Dominic, Dominic has an Instagram. There is her uh, in, our, in my profile. Okay, Dominic and 3 sec has an Instagram. All of our other social media handles that we want you to follow us on are always in the description down below. So you can, we have direct links down there, so you can click those direct links and it'll take you directly to our profiles and pages. All right, we want you to close this video with us, monsters. You know how we close our videos. If you don't know, you're gonna come and know. And let's get into it. You ready, babe? God loves you. We love you. Let's become better. In Jesus' name, and we out. Hey. Hey, this is. <laughs>